The next step in our project is to make the envelopes for our discs and we will be using our wildcard Cricut cartridge. Now many of you may think that you're not card makers and you're, not gonna, you're never going to use this cartridge, but let me tell you, just like in this project, you will use this cartridge more than you think. Um, just general envelopes, maybe you want to make a special envelope to keep receipts in, or um, maybe you would like to use a phrase that's on the wild card cartridge. There are just really so many uses and this is a great cartridge to have. We've inserted our Cricut wildcard cartridge and we are ready to cut out our envelope. Um, I did use the Cricut Design Studio in order to create this envelope because in order for your disc to fit, it needs to have a height of six and a half, um, which is too big for the regular mat unless you can turn it on an angle. Now, if you don't use Cricut Design Studio and you'd still like to do the envelope, that's great. You just need to use a 12 by 24 mat and you also need to use a 12 by 24 piece of paper. So um, those are just a little, just a couple of hints on cutting this out if you're not using Design Studio. Um, so if you are not using Design Studio, you also want to, um, your selection will actually be the envelope, which is you hit the shift button and then you also want to hit the envelope number three, which is the square envelope. And again, I want to set my size at six and a half if I was not using the Design Studio. Now, since I'm using the Design Studio, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out as I've designed it. So we have our envelope cut out and we are ready to pull it off and start assembling that and the liner which is cut out in a similar fashion from the wildcard Cricut cartridge and I will be showing you that next. 